After Nokia 6, Nokia 8 with 6 GB RAM, 24 MP camera, and many more sales remote. Second news <coughs> Android Wear 2.0 is coming in February, confirms Google. Third news Geony Steel 2 with 4000 MP of battery, fingerprint sensor, and many more. Fourth news Paytm updates app with new features, raises transfer limit for merchants up to 50,000 rupees. So, <coughs> this is Shakir. Welcome back to our channel, Sam Digital Technology. In this video, again, I am going to talk with you these four latest news. So, get started. So first news is coming from Nokia. After Nokia 6, remote says Nokia 8 is also going to be launched with 6 GB RAM, 24 MP camera and many more. According to a report, the phone is expected to come in two variants. One with Snapdragon 835 processor, 6 GB RAM and 24 megapixel rear camera with optical image st stabilization along with EIS 3.0 while the other version would come with Snapdragon 821 processor 4GB RAM and an unknown rear camera <laughs> so here is full specification 5.7 inch quad core HD 2560 by 1440 pixel 518ppi super AMOLED display Octa Core Snapdragon 835 processor with Adreno 4 540 CPU Quad Core Snapdragon 821 processor with Adreno 530 GPU 6GB RAM and 4GB RAM with 64GB and 128GB internal memory plus expandable memory up to 256GB with micro SD Android 7.0 Nogout 24, 24 megapixel rear camera with dual turn LED flash OIS EIS 3.0 4K video recording 12 MP front camera fingerprint sensor notification LED dual speakers 4G LTE Wi-Fi 802.11 AC Bluetooth 4.2 LTE Second news is coming from Android. Android is going to be launched Android Wear 2.0 in February. Confirms Google. Android Wear 2.0 is finally arri arriving in February. The release that was scheduled date for last year had further delayed till early 2017. Now Google has confirmed that the next version of Android Wear is coming next month via an email to that was sent out to app developers google has warned developers google has warned developers whose appear are not compatible with android wear 2.0 to ensure that their applications are optimized for the next generation it's wearable oh yes Android Wear 2.0 will also support standalone apps that will not need phone to work. That's great. If developers do not take the required action to optimize their applications, users will not be able to search and find their app in the on watch Google Play app. Last month, Google confirmed that two Android Wear 2.0 smartwatches are coming in 2017 earlier this month casio wsd f20 smart outdoor watch with gps with android wear 2.0 was announced android wear 2.0 get revamped ui standalone apps gesture keyboard and many more third news is coming from geony geony is still 2 with 4000 mp of battery fingerprint sensor and many more Geony has introduced Steel 2, its latest budget smartphone in the Steel series in China. It has a 5-inch HD screen, is powered by a quad-core MediaTek MT6737 and runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow 
with Amigo 3.0 UI. It packs a Yoke 4000 MPO battery. It also has a fingerprint sensor on the front and comes with dedicated dual SIM slots. Here is full specifications of Geoni Steel 2 5 inch 1280 by 720 pixels HD camera, 1.3 GHz quad core media tech, MT6737 64 bit processor with Mali T720 GPU, 3 GB RAM, 16 GB, <coughs> 3 GB RAM, 16 GB 128 and uh, sorry. 16 GB and 32 GB internal storage, expandable memory up to 128 GB with micro SD, Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Amigo 3.5 UI, dual SIM, 8 MP rear camera with LED flash, that's the little bit less, 5 MP front facing camera, dimensions 144.3 by 70.5 by 8.6 mm, weight 160 gram fingerprint sensor, 4G OLT Wi-Fi, 802.11B by G by N, Bluetooth 4.0 GPS and 4000 Ampere battery. And fourth news is coming from Paytm. Paytm updates app with new features, raises transfer limit for merchants to 5-250,000 rupees. Elf declared merchants can now to transfer up to 50,000 directly in their bank account using Paytm. That's great news. The Paytm app has also been updated which according to the company makes that app 3 times transfer. 3 times 3 times faster even on low and smartphones and slow networks. The update has made it faster to add money to Paytm wallet as the process happens on a single screen that translates to quick to quicker load times and faster users experience. With the with the latest update, users can pay by scanning the recipient's Paytm QR codes from their phone's gallery. The app allows users to pay by being able to scan the recipient recipients QR codes they may have received via email or WhatsApp. Users will have to tap on the upper side, upper right corner of the screen and tap on scan Paytm QR from gallery. Next up, Paytm users can now access the Paytm community form, uh, forums option in their Paytm app and get their queries addressed by active users on the platform finally merchants can now self declare themselves on the app itself and start accepting up to 50000 directly in their bank accounts the amount is settled at every day and paytm too will not charge any amount for this so that's it for today i hope you like it you enjoy it in lower right side you can see subscribe button click there because we update daily take news only for you okay so thanks for watching bye bye